Good morning, students. On today's lecture, I'll cover again uh, from new additional mathematics book uh, written by Ho Su Thong and Ko Nayak Hyong. And I'm at exercise 10.2 today. Exercise 10.2. And I would like to solve question number 4, 5 and some some questions from here, this page. Okay. Um, let's, let's do question number 4 first. Okay, 4 says that if theta is acute and cos theta equal to 4 by 5, find the value of sine theta and of tan theta. What they're saying, given, these are given information, given theta is acute, okay, theta is acute and what do we understand by acute? Theta is less than 90 degree, we know this, okay. And another piece of information is given cos theta equal to 4 by 5. So, cos theta equal to 4 by 5. So, the question is saying find out sin theta and tan theta. Okay. So, sin theta equal to what? And cos theta, uh, sorry, tan theta, tan theta equal to what? That's what we have to do. I'm going to show you two different method. Okay, since this is acute, I'm going to draw a sketch a diagram like that. Remember, I said that the uh, line segment moves anti-clockwise through the origin and the new position forming here is making the angle over here. Okay, and this is perpendicular over here. Now, this is acute angle and it's theta. It says cos theta. Okay, now it's acute, so this is acute. It's from zero, more than zero, but less than 90 degrees. So this is acute somewhere. And this is my theta. And cos theta is four by five. And cos, we know, ke, adjacent over hypo. So four is gonna be here, and five is gonna be here. If I have this, okay, think about this line. Okay, let it be A probably. And using the Pythagoras theorem, I can find out a equal to square root 5 square minus 4 square. That's going to give me 24, 25 minus 16. That's going to be 9. You can check that. Uh, check that 5 square minus 4 square. That's going to be 9. Square root 9 is 3. So this is going to be 3. So A, I got 3. Simply, I can use that sine theta equal to sine theta. We know so. Oppo over hypo. So oppo sine theta would be 3 by 5. So this is 3 by 5. And simply tan theta would be, this is going to be toa. Oppo over adjacent. So 3 by 4. Okay. So that's your answer. Okay. Sine theta answer. Sine theta equal to 3 by 5. 3 by 5. And tan theta equal to 3 by 4. Okay, this is the first method. Okay, method number one, you can call that method one, and this is gonna be method two, or you can say alternative method. Okay, method two. The way I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the trigonometric identities. Since we know, since sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to one. Okay, now cos theta is given, so sine square theta plus cos square theta is 4 by 5 square equal to 1 then sine square theta equal to 1 minus 4 square by 5 square that gives 16 by 25 and if you simplify that 25 now simple uh, fractional subtraction so 1 minus 16 by 25 that's gonna give me 9 by 25 so sine theta would be plus minus square root 9 by 25 or it's gonna be both of them are perfect square so it can be taken out of the square root and it's gonna be 3 by 5 now since theta is acute sine theta cannot be equal to negative 3 by 5 therefore sine theta must be 3 by 5 okay and this is my answer and then tan theta would be sine theta by cos theta okay 
and sine theta we got the value 3 by 5 and cos theta we have here 4 by 5 4 by 5 so simplify that 3 by 5 times this is gonna be 4 by, uh, 5 gonna go up by 4 so that's cross out so it's gonna be 3 by 5 you can see that I got either method I do I got sine theta equal to 3 by 5 over here I got sine theta 3 by 5 tan theta 3 by 4 uh, this is 3 by 4 I'm sorry see that 3 by 4 so I wrote down here 5 this is 3 by 4 so it doesn't matter how you go okay this one and this one gonna give you the same answer okay so this is very neat way to do it and I like to do one more math from here in this video and that's gonna be question number five okay that one was acute in question number four and this is obtuse angle given that a is obtuse so again uh, write it down okay number five and these are the given information given a now it's not theta it's a a is obtuse angle obtuse angle and what do you understand obtuse uh, by obtuse angle a is gonna be greater than 90 but less than 180 that's obtuse angle okay and then what are the other information 10 a equal to negative 1 by 2 10 a equal to negative 1 by 2 and find the values of cos a and sine a okay I'm gonna use the first method the diagram method like this one to solve this you can use the trigonometric identities too for this one now let me sketch the diagram okay this is obtuse angle so the line should be go all the way from here to somewhere over here let's say it's gonna be somewhere over here okay and this is the perpendicular line and 10 a this is my a 10 a is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 now minus 1 by 2 I hope you understand that it can be written as minus 1 by positive 2 or it can be written as positive 1 by negative 2 okay either cases negative positive makes negative positive negative makes negative okay so it can be either one we're gonna use the way it's supposed to be used over here just watch tan theta is gonna be toa oppo over adjacent so oppo is gonna be 1 and adjacent is gonna be 2 now I need to put the sign where should I put negative sign one is positive one is one is negative one is positive so I wrote both of them positive one of them has to be negative now if this considered this one Cartesian coordinates this is y this is x so in this particular place the value of x this value is gonna be negative okay the x's value on the left hand side of the y-axis is gonna be negative so this is negative now if hypotenuse we consider it a using Pythagoras theorem it's gonna be 1 square plus minus 2 square that's gonna give me 1 plus 4 that's square root 5 so a is nothing but square root 5 now I'm ready to get cos a and sine a's value so cos a is going to be I hope you remember cos that's ka adjacent over hypo so that's gonna be minus 2 by square root 5 you can rationalize it or you can keep it as it is and then sine a is going to be so oppo over hypo so 1 by square root 5 okay so this is done can we do alt in alternative way of course we can do that but it's gonna be a little uh, different than the first one but I'm going to do that okay now 10 a now we have another trigonometric identities 10 square theta or in this case a 10 square a plus 1 equal to it's gonna be sec square a okay now when I have this 10 that's gonna be minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 equal to sec square theta sec square theta and that's gonna be 1 by 4 plus 1 equal to sec square theta can be written as 1 by cos square a or in this case a not theta so this is 
again addition of fraction so four one four ones are four there is denominator one so four ones are four plus one five by four and that's gonna be one by cos square a now if i just flip it over it can be written as four by five equal to cos square a now cos a is going to be plus minus square root four by five okay now since the square root this is a perfect square now cos a can be written as 2 by square root 5 now obtuse angle obtuse angle means it's more than 90 but less than 180 second quadrant second quadrant cos is gonna be negative so I'm gonna put negative sign in front of it okay so that's done now since we know that another value I have to find out is sine so you can either use sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to one or you can use let's say let me show you both sine square a plus cos square a equal to one now i have sine uh, i need to find out sine square uh, sine a so sine square a this is one minus cos square theta is minus two square root five whole square so that's going to be one minus so if i take the uh, uh, put the value of a square uh, on both of them put a square on both of them then it's gonna be 4 root 5 and minus becomes plus so it's gonna be 1 minus 4 by 5 so if you simplify that 5 5 minus 4 is 1 so 1 by that therefore sine a is gonna be 1 by square root 5 now in obtuse angle uh, obtuse angle that means second quadrant sine is positive so when we do the square root I supposed to have plus minus but since I know it's in the uh, second quadrant so I can write down this is positive 1 by root, two, root 5 so it doesn't matter how you do that over here cos a is uh, minus 2 by square root 5 cos a over here minus 2 by root, uh, square root 5 and sine a equal to 1 by root 5 and over here sine a equal to 1 by root 5 this is one way to do that and another I, I just said that I'll show you another method that tan theta or tan a equal to sine a by cos a okay now I need to find out sine a okay this is another way I'm just doing it okay I can do so many different ways sine a is gonna be tan a times cos a now tan a is given minus 1 by 2 and cos a I got it over here minus 2 square root 5 now you can see that you can cross this 2 and 2 then minus minus that becomes plus so that becomes uh, minus minus plus and on the top is 1 and in the denominator is square root 5 so you can see that it doesn't matter how you do that you always gonna get the same answer okay in my next video I'm gonna solve some questions from here so stick around and uh, like my video if you like it and then leave comment if you need to understand something else okay thank you have a good day